how to build a simple auto jukebox. These are the materials you'll need. Two droppers. Dropper, dropper, Make sure the droppers, dropper, not dispensers. Dropper. A hopper. Jukebox. Two observers. Smooth stone. Uh, they don't have to be smooth stone. They can be any solid block. Redstone dust. And a lever. So you start with the droppers. Dropper, dropper. And you place one facing upwards like that. Next one facing to the side. That is what we'll be putting the discs into the jukebox. And then you need a hopper to retrieve the disc once it's done playing and go back there. And then it's just a constant loop. Um, the redstone for this is an observer watching that dropper. Rafflecopter. And then place another observer there so the signal comes this direction. And then we place solid block at the end of that, which will transfer the redstone signal from that through there to this redstone dust right here. If you want an on-off switch, I found the best place for the on-off switch is right on the lower dropper here. And then you push that. That's locked. That'll stop it from playing. If you flip it on, you can see now the redstone loop has started. So it is constantly trying to... It is constantly looping a signal around, trying to trigger itself until a disc starts playing. So let's get a disc. Yeah, start with the classic. We'll start with cat. So we'll put it right here. It goes through and then plays and you can see redstone signal stops. So this works great with between 1 to 19 discs. Now let's test it in Bedrock Edition. Redstone dust right there. And a lever. And now you can see Yep, that's working correctly. Now we need some discs. Disc. We'll do cat. Place it in there. Yep, and it plays fine. It works exactly the same. If you have less than three discs, there is a little bit of an annoying thing, but it doesn't affect the functioning. So if I turn up the tick rate to 2000, you can see every time the disc like stops playing and goes through the loop, these dispensers make a clicking noise. Dropper, copter. For a brief second, which isn't really a huge problem, but if you want that to stop, I think it'll stop if you have at least three discs in here. So if you want one song playing forever, you can just put three of the exact same disc in. But let's put two more discs in there and see if the clicking stops. Nope, looks like we need four discs for the clicking to stop. So let's put a fourth disc in there. And now, yeah, so if you don't want that clicking noise, you need at least four discs in the loop. Some comments on my last video were asking about manually triggering the jukebox loop. Um, it's possible, but not quite as straightforward as this. You can see I have a pressure plate set up running just directly into the lower dropper. And you can see the disc is there. You press it. It works that time, but now watch. Now I step on it again, and it doesn't work. But then I step on it again. I don't know, something's weird when you have it set up like this. Like, you can see the disc is in the lower dropper already. I press it once, nothing happens. And then I press it again, and then it goes. Even though the disc didn't move on that first pressure plate step. It's... It's weird. I don't fully understand it. So a way to fix this is to put an observer here, because then the observer will send two pulses for the redstone turning on and off. And then every time you step on the pressure plate, it'll trigger. So it's pretty simple. Um, the other way you could fix this is you can still just have redstone run right into that, and you would have to replace that dropper with an ob uh, with a with a hopper, and now that also works every time you push the button. As of 1.21.7, they just added two new discs, which brings the total discs up to um, math 9, 20, 21. 21 discs. If you want to have every single disc in the game, it doesn't work anymore. For one small problem, here, let's just stop that. Every single disc fills up the top dropper, the bottom dropper, which is 9 plus 9, 18 plus, I 
three more here is 20, 21. But the problem is, is when there's too many disks in the hopper, because of the way hoppers work, only this first slot will ever get moved. So these two will just stay locked in this hopper forever. As you can see, since I have the tick rate up, it's moving the disks really fast. You can see these two, they just stay there. They don't move at all. So that's a problem if you want every single disk. So that means we need to expand the storage if you want to be playing every single disk. So it's very simple to do that. You just got to take a hopper, another hopper, another dropper, and go below here. So place one more down there facing upwards. So now we have a stack of three droppers going up and then place this hopper here. And then this hopper, we need to change to that. So it's going downwards. So now the disks will go down two blocks into here and then go back up. So we got nine plus nine plus three, that's 21 disks. So that's all the disks. So now you can see nothing sits inside these hoppers which means it won't be a problem for something not getting played. And you can see everything still works. All these disks are changing perfectly. Yep, so that's all you need. You just need an extra hopper, extra dropper below, and you need to angle this one downwards. So it's just a little bit of a longer loop. And this is... Uh, very expandable like for the future when they add more discs we can go um, even further down so we can go like that place that oops that needs to go like that and that like that um, now this at you have to do more than just add more storage you also because now everything is gonna get stuck down here as you can see, all the disks are moving right to the bottom and just staying there because there's no power going down there. So we need to break that, turn that into Observer. And then if we put redstone dust there and there, toggle it. Now these should start moving upwards. Yep, now, now everything's going all the way back up. You can see here, the disks are swapping because the disks on the bottom are moving up. So now it, with this setup, we could have uh, nine times five, we could have up to 54 disks in this loop. The The main thing is you don't want, if you're having like tons of disks, you don't want them overflowing into these hoppers because once they start filling up the hoppers, then only one item gets moved at a time and stuff doesn't go all the way through. I haven't tested the limits. I don't know how far this can go. So why don't we try that? Let's see what the limit is. Huh. I may have gone a little over. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's still working. The discs, the discs are still traveling all the way back up here. Sometimes it's empty, but it still continues to play. Interesting. Okay. And they come all the way down here. Yep, it moves down there. Wow. They have, obviously there's clicking because we don't have enough discs in all of this. Um, now, the one other question I have is, does this work? Does this work if you only have one disc? So let's put one disc in there, and then... Yeah. Yeah, of course it works with one disc, because when there's no disc playing, it continues to pulse here infinitely until the disc travels all the way back up. Oh yeah, duh. Of course that makes sense. All right, um, let's let's set tick rate back to default and see how many times it clicks. 
<laughs> yeah, that's how long it takes for one disc to travel all the way back up. That's funny. That's funny. Let's let's do that again. Take the disc. Yeah, you can see when there's no disc in it and it's unlocked. Of course, we can lock it. But when there's no disc in it and it's unlocked, it just forever is sending a pulse here until it gets a new disc. So if we place the disc in here, it has to travel all the way down. And then the constantly ticking redstone pushes it all the way back up here until it gets back in there. Um, yep. Yeah. So, it, it works pretty flawlessly, and obviously you can fit way more discs in here if you, <laughs> if you do this.